I'm Beverly Kirk with the Global Health Policy Center here with Dr. Seth Berkeley, CEO of the Gavi Alliance. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. What's the significance of the Gavi replenishment this year? Well, first of all, Gavi, whose mission is to try to vaccinate the children in the 73 poorest countries, um, relies on our development donor partners to provide some of the financing for immunization. There's three different parts to this. One is reducing vaccine prices from companies to make it sustainable over time. Second are contributions from developing countries. And third are funds from our development partners to help subsidize vaccines. And so this is going to be a critical period for Gavi, particularly because the next period, 16 to 20, will be the maximum amount of money Gavi is going to require because after after that with graduating countries, the cost will come down. So what are the major goals for Gavi during this next five year period? So Gavi has had a remarkable um, introduction of many new vaccines. The key vaccines that protect against killers such as diarrhea, pneumonia, have been rolled out during this period, cervical cancer. Um, so it's been a very important period. The challenge is getting the coverage of those vaccines up very high to reach that so-called fifth child mm -hmm. who isn't standing with the other four and also to deal with um, the issues of some countries that have low coverage countries that are fragile and others so this is going to be a challenging period to really bring home uh, the vaccines and get them to the coverage levels they need to be and how does this build on the current programs well um, the, the, this last period, every year, we've been increasing the number of vaccine introductions. And so we've seen almost a doubling on, mm -hmm. on an annual basis of introductions. We'll also be working this year in an activated polio vaccine. So um, we expect that in the next few years, we'll have as many as 70 introductions a year for vaccines. So this is going to be you know, more than one a week of a new vaccine being introduced in countries. But it's being built on the infrastructure infrastructure that countries have built and on the infrastructure that Gavi has built over this time. And again, the goal here is to keep children uh, from getting sick. The idea is not to worry about any one illness. We, we want to worry about all of them. We want children to be able to live up to their full potential. Mm -hmm. And to do that, it means keeping them healthy. What about challenges? What challenges do you anticipate facing? Well, the greatest challenge, of course, is we're working in some of the most difficult countries in the world, countries that are fragile, that are at war, that have poor infrastructure. So the challenge is, how do you build up infrastructure in those countries, understanding that you can't fix all the systems? And so on this, we work with our partners, WHO, UNICEF, the World Bank, but also civil society, uh, uh, private sector partners, to try to go ahead and, and help countries um, increase the capacity to be able to deliver. One of the critical areas we'll be focusing on in this next period is the supply chain. Mm -hmm. Turns out the supply chain for vaccines was built in the 60s, mm -hmm. hasn't changed much, it's paper and pencil, and obviously there's a lot can be done to be able to uh, um, modernize that and allow us to get vaccines more efficiently out to the children. Dr. Berkeley, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.